Hello for the game, this is Booty2 here, and welcome back to Playback. I'm Central, and I'm going left and right. I'm in your left ear, I'm in your right ear. Unless your headphones are on backwards, so maybe I'm helping you guys realise if your headphones are back to front or not. So anyway, welcome back, and I'm going to be talking in this video about kind of how to get... I wouldn't say how to be successful on YouTube, but that's pretty much what it boils down to, and... I was talking about this in a director's chat uh, last night, and there are three tick boxes which you need to be uh, pretty much the channel with like a million subscribers and 10,000 views per video every day easily. And three tick boxes. Relevance, popularity, and uniquity. In that order, I believe. So when it comes to relevance, what we're talking about there is... Let's just say, uh, where a lot of YouTubers, would, I'm, I can only talk from my experience, a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers, they started their stuff during Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops kind of time. And they were doing just standard commentaries, you know, that kind of stuff. And people really took a liking to it, and then they got tens of thousands of subscribers, and this is where they are today. They're the channels with hundreds of thousands. And then we're looking at channels like PewDiePie as well, which is probably the most recent uh, breakthrough, and that is... A guy with a silly voice, screaming at horror games. Don't think really anyone's particularly done that on YouTube before, at least not to the degree which he does it. Um, but, you know, that's that's just how it is. And what I'm talking about of relevance is that there is an interest of a market, uh, such as Call of Duty at a time and horror games at a time, because we had games like Amnesia coming out and that kind of stuff. And... Let's just use the Call of Duty reference to um, just stay with that uh, relevance of that. Currently, if you were to post COD 4 gameplay, no one would give much of a shit. If you were to post Advanced Warfare gameplay, 10 million views overnight. That's pretty much just how it's going to go. And that's what we talk about of relevance. Now, it doesn't extend just to that because with popularity as well, it kind of ties in with itself. And, you know, Call of Duty is an extremely popular series. If we were to do our first look on gameplay of... The fuck knows, let's just insult Rowan and just say War Game Blue Dildo. The map pack, whatever. That's going to get like 300, 400 views and no one's really going to care all that much. Um, so it has to be a popular game which is relevant. So, talking about uh, the next Call of Duty, the next Battlefield, the next... Uh, insomnia game, what am I talking about? Amnesia game, uh, you know, just the things which everyone's kind of thinking of and uh, talking about and like E3 tournaments evolve. Uh, we've got a bunch of trailers on the channel to uh, talk about and if we did have gameplay of, you know, like our own gameplay commentary, if you had Advanced Warfare sniping gameplay going 30 and 2 and having a commentary over it, then you'd get a lot of attention for it. And then there's also Uniquity, which is the third tick box, which isn't exactly as important as the others, depending on how well you've done with the others. Like I said, with a sniping montage on Advanced Warfare, those two would be just fine. It doesn't really have to be unique, even though it is unique because it's the only one which is on YouTube. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ignore everything that I just said about Uniquity. Uniquity, that ties in with it all. If you are the only person with sniping gameplay on Advanced Warfare, you are unique, and that's 10 million views, right? Fucking now. Done and dusted. And it's the same with, uh, like, personalities as well. Poodie Pie has a very unique personality, for example, and by that I mean he overreacts to everything, and it's the same with Tabuscus, I guess. Pretty sure he acts it out as well. Uh, everyone does. Pretty much everyone does. Same with Nova as well, kind of, but I actually like Uber Hacks or Nova quite a bit. Um, just because he is... He, he's not, he doesn't dumb himself down and doesn't, he just doesn't say, oh my gosh, for one thing. He says, oh my god, and fuck and shit and all that kind of stuff, and that's kind of like what I respect about him is that he does talk the way he talks, and he doesn't have to dumb himself down for anyone, and he enjoys what he does and all that kind of shit. Whereas other people such as... Getting the dislikes here, uh, Ali A, T Martin, they do not give a shit. They know that it's all about the money and that's what they do. It's a fake personality which they put on for you. Um, and I can very much attest to that because the 
uh, fucking personality which you see of me on YouTube. I try and be as myself as much as possible, but it depends what kind of myself. Because here, you, you I'm, I sound all friendly and approachable, don't I? No, I'll fucking kill you. No, I won't. I will be very gentle to you with a hammer. Um, but anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about now, but those are the three things which I believe are the most important things for YouTube success. Being relevant on a popular thing and being the only person that's doing it. Those are the three things which make it really good. Um, and I'm just thinking back to one commentary which I did ages ago. And when I say age, I mean ages ago. Uh, which is being a successful commentator, which is like, be energetic and, and, and yes, bazzle dazzle and that kind of shit. But um, yeah, that is me talking for six minutes. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully I've enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to leave a like rating if you would be so kind as to do so. And subscribe if not subscribed already, because it is play the game. Obviously. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.